What's up, Lake Central? I'm Anthony Dye. And I'm Grant Bradkey. These are your daily announcements for Friday, March 6, 2015. Seniors, please make sure that you are following the guidance Twitter page at LCHS underscore guidance or read the guidance blog at this link. Please make sure you are receiving important information. Several new scholarships were recently added. Seniors, before you submit your commencement ticket orders, please make sure you and your parent have the signed form. The order cannot be processed without both signatures. Forms and payments are due no later than March 19th to guarantee tickets. Only two and a half more weeks to turn in ticket orders. The following institutions of higher learning will be available at Lake Central. Unless otherwise noted, these meetings will take place at 209. On March 9th, Purdue University Calumet for a lunch visit. And March 16th, Indiana University Northwest for a lunch visit. March 17th, Columbia College for a lunch visit. St. Joseph's College and St. Mary's College, both lunch visits. March 19th, Southern Illinois University, Carbondale. March 31st, Monmouth College for a lunch visit. There is a mandatory meeting Wednesday, March 11th, after school in C304 for all girls trying out for tennis. Any questions, please see Coach Salonic. There will be an American Sign Language Club meeting on Monday, March 9th in the library. The Lake Central Education Foundation will be working with EcoChic to raise money for the foundation. Caleb Beasley caught up with Miss Talent to see what's up. Uh, I'm Louise Talent and uh, I'm a family and consumer science teacher here at Lake Central High School. The foundation is a, a nonprofit organization that has been pulled together um, over the last 18 years. They have raised funds for teachers to submit grants or interested uh, community uh, individuals that are willing to write a grant. Uh, grants are awarded for dynamic units of study and the money comes back to the teachers in the form of a grant for those studies and ultimately it helps the students. This week we're, they're having a fundraiser business in town that is offering 10% of their sales and that business is EcoChic. My name is Diane Gross and I am co-owner of EcoChic Boutique. Hey, EcoChic Boutique is an upscale women's consignment store. We feature women's clothing, jewelry, purses and accessories. We also feature the girls dance dresses. They can bring them in on consignment and make some money with us and they can also purchase them here. Most of our dresses come from Debs and Peaches. The girls have worn them once, they get them clean and they bring them into our store. So girls are able to purchase very expensive dresses at about a third of the price. My name is Trish Caruso and I am also co-owner of Eco Chic Boutique. We are really excited about partnering with the Education Foundation. We're always looking to help out in some area. So this is just such a great partnership where it's a wonderful way to put some um, uh, money back into the Education Foundation. Uh, we just really appreciate all the community members that have supported the foundation over the years. We have, so, uh, so far we've given out over 400, uh, 471 grants and almost $240,000 in grants. So we do appreciate all the funds and the teachers as they apply for them and the benefit that that provides for the students. Please help the foundation. Well, that about wraps it up for your daily announcements, Lake Central. I'm Anthony Dye. And I'm Grant Brady. Have a great day, Lake Central.